Configuring your Applewood Cook Stove Your Applewood Cook Stove is highly configurable to achieve a wide variety of temperatures with all types of cookware. It is recommended that you configure the stovetop when the stove is cool. Baking To set up your Applewood Cook Stove for baking, ensure that the rear heat shield is moved from the rear to the forward position causing the heat to spread more evenly while helping to prevent burning of the food. Next, move the oven rack into the forward position over the heat shield. You may choose to use the lower or upper rack mount. Place the oven thermometer in the provided mounting hole in the front of the oven rack just behind the glass door. This oven thermometer is accurate but moves slower than a digital thermometer, so you will want to reduce the heat of the fire before the thermometer reaches your desired baking temperature. Place the cast iron top in position and close the door. The oven temperature is hotter in the back, so it is highly recommended that you rotate your food 180 degrees halfway through the baking time. Note, the oven rack and heat shield can be moved when hot using the provided oven tool by inserting the hooks into the provided holes. Tip. Use the air control to manage the temperature of the oven. Additionally, the amount of fuel loaded in the firebox can be used to maintain a desired cooking temperature. Finally, the oven door can be opened to reduce the temperature of the oven. Using the stovetop. Move the oven racks and cooking griddle to a position that works best for what you are cooking. If you are using the integrated cast iron cooking griddle for pan frying or boiling at high temperatures, you must remove the oven thermometer from the oven. If you do not remove the thermometer, it will be exposed to temperatures that will cause it to discolor. Except for the cast iron griddle, do not cook directly on the cooking surfaces always use cookware. For the hottest cooking temperatures, such as frying or boiling, slide the shield back and remove or hinge the cast iron griddle out of the way and open the oven door. Use a pan or pot directly on the firebox. For your convenience, the compartment in the bottom of the stove has been designed for storing these parts while not in use. for medium cooking temperatures when you plan on building a hot fire. Slide the front rack and the front heat shield to the back of the oven, exposing the griddle to the heat from the firebox. For medium cooking temperatures when you plan on having a medium or low fire. Slide the front rack to the back of the oven, but leave the front heat shield in place. Place the cast iron griddle or pan directly on the front heat shield. There are several other configurations, including the use of a pizza stone and even boiling water canning. Boiling The high temperature cook surface is suitable for boiling. To do so, either slide the heat shield to the back or remove it altogether. The surface top can be removed or used as a lid to contain the heat while achieving a boiling point. The oven rack should also be slid back or removed. Warming. The top surface of the Applewood cook stove can additionally be used to keep foods warm once cooked. Simply place a pot or pan on the top edge of the stove where desired. So as you can see, the Kuma Applewood is designed to give you a myriad of options for cooking with a wood fire. 